Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. There's like some background noise, like maybe it's on your end. Do you hear it? I think I hear that. That's my fan. Okay. (laughs) All right. We are rolling. We are on. Did you turn your fan off? I turned my fan off. I'm going to sweat over here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm already sweating because I'm sick as shit. I think it's bronchitis or I think it's strep throat, but it's yeah, not it's COVID. Yeah. So it's our show, Casey. He's sick. Can't talk. Yeah, it's y'all's show today. <laughs> but yeah, Casey, we won't, <laughs> we won't bring up that name or anything like that. But yeah, it's so weird. I feel so awkward around the person. I swear to we'll God. We'll talk about it later. I feel so <laughs> awkward. I swear to God. I, I probably I shouldn't. I'm a crazy yeah. person that like I'm an insane yeah. person. I don't know. I hate it. I hate it. Kind of, but it's not under it's not my control, so I don't need to fucking worry about it, but it's impossible for me to not I'm worry doing about fine, it. If you ask me. Yeah. No, that sounds like a frustrating situation. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I couldn't go to sleep Sunday night. I also took an Adderall. I don't know what did it, Casey, but I could not go to sleep Sunday night. Could have been the Adderall. They popped the Adderall. Could have been the Adderall. <laughs> Can't sleep, pop an Adderall. At like 4 p.m. I took one, and then I drank some coffee, and I couldn't go to sleep, and then I started watching all kinds of stuff on YouTube, and then I got so angry. I had so much hatred of my heart, Casey. But then I made it back and took a little nap. <laughs> and everything was I had all right. I clean apartment for him, and I made him crock pot food. What'd you make? Mm. Let's just uh, chicken. chicken and tortellini chicken. and spinach. Yeah, really I know. It. We need to give you all the recipe. <laughs> it's like five or six things. It's the easiest. Oh, yum! Chicken, tortellini, spinach, mushrooms. But you don't have to do mushrooms. But you can and canned t- um, diced tomatoes and a pasta sauce of your choice. Mm. Would you do you like mushrooms? Pesto. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto. Pesto uh, pasta. <laughs> did somebody insinuate pesto? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't like mushroom. I don't like diced tomato, but I can find You don't have to even put those in. Them. Yeah. The original recipe doesn't even have those. I added. Well, yeah. It's yeah, a, so you the way it. you like it is right. Tasty, tasty. Very tasty. <laughs> You're like, actually. <laughs> Very tasty. Very tasty stuff. Yeah, th- like... Yeah, that seems to be some sort of pesto pasta doodle. Pesto <laughs> pasta. Are those shoestrings? <laughs> it can look like shoestrings. Yeah, what is that? It's harder to say than I remember being Shoe a kid. Shoestring. <laughs> Shoestring. I'm having an aneurysm. Yeah, what, damn, what the damn are we even, damn, getting at? What were we talking about before that? Shoestring. Yeah, spaghetti noodle. I was saying something last night that sounded like shoestring. <laughs> the little snack crackers. Uh, Which one? So classic little snack cracker. Peanut Bubba's? No, I love that, though. That'd be Bubba. Ritz Bits. Ritz Bits. Doesn't Ritz sound like Bits. shoestring. I get it, though. Good morning, Ritz Bits. Um, Mr. Ritz Bits. <laughs> Mr. Ritz Bits. I, I used to take a lot of Adderall, like, maybe five years ago or something, and I would go and <laughs> I would take so much, it would give me really bad hypertension, so I would feel like I was having a heart attack, and then I would cover my chest in Icy Hot. Oh my god, yeah. that sounds worse or well, something. Well, it would help. Okay. I, like, maybe it was all psychosomatic to begin with. Like, maybe it was just yeah. anxiety. But in my head, it would help, like, open up my veins. <clears throat> so then, and then I would keep taking Adderall, and then it would happen again. So then, like, by the end of, like, a 48-hour Adderall binge, I would just be covered <laughs> in icy hot. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, walking around my apartment, and I can't touch anything, because I'm, like, completely <laughs> filled with the Icy Hot. Did you smell kind of good? Doesn't Icy Hot have, like, a... Mm. What's that minty. flavor? Yeah, minty. Mint. Yeah. Then I would smoke cigarettes, and the Icy Hot would get in my mouth. I just became basically just a creature of another dimension. Oh my gosh! Wait, and it would literally be for a couple of days? Ooh, yeah, pizza. <laughs> yeah. You can get two days out of Adderall. Two days, then you're like brain. I guess you just run out of dopamine. But you can keep going for two days. 
I was almost at two days because I didn't go to sleep till one last or two or three. Three. <laughs> so I was close to two days yesterday. It was really weird. And I made him go to sleep last night like a good boy. Yeah, you made me go to sleep, which was really <laughs> sweet. I tugged him in and I said, it's your turn to go to sleep. But then I, I pre- only pretended I didn't actually go to sleep. I stayed on my phone for about three hours. Dang. I was watching these people. I won't name any names. I was watching these people. Casey, do you ever watch people do stand-up and you, and you are convinced that it's a laugh track in the background? <laughs> yeah. What is going on here? <coughs> Really? Again, I won't yeah. say any specific people. There were three spe- specific people that I was watching on Sunday night when I was a crazy person <laughs> amongst a bunch of other shit I was looking the at. The laugh sound fake? I swear to God. Yeah, do people do that, I wonder? What was Were these on comedy specials? Or these were just yeah. like YouTube stuff? Yeah, Instagram? YouTube stuff. YouTube. But one was for like some HB, uh, some, something, it was for something. Was it else. that guy? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, is that Miss Your Mime? <laughs> oh, Miss Your Mime. I love Miss Your Mime. He's known for having a laugh track, though. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? Miss Your Mime. Miss Your Mime. Oh, Miss Your Mime. Or Monsoir Mime. Monsoir. 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 <laughs> As you can see, I have my trunk of tricks behind me. <laughs> laugh tracks. They're yeah. all laugh tracks. <laughs> that is a fun idea, kind of. <laughs> having a laugh track. Yeah. It could be funny. And maybe I'm just being mean. Maybe it is actual... All laughter, Hard maybe to it say. isn't a laugh. He's skeptical. Track. Yeah, I saw one on Instagram. I've always heard that rumor, like that's something people always comment, like, "Oh, I bet this is a laugh track," but like oh, that's oh. not. I, I felt like it's just something that didn't happen. But I watched one maybe a month ago, and I was like, "That's a that's a laugh track for sure." Yeah, it's just some terrible jokes, and, like, and it seems like God. you'd be embarrassed. I wonder what app does that? Yeah, I don't know. If there's a laugh track app, yeah. there could be an app. There could be. Seems like you'd be embarrassed to do that. Whoa. Yeah. But people might pick up that it's a laugh track. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a much worse fate than doing poorly. <laughs> yeah, the fake laughter. Well, that happens. Mike, do you still put your laugh track stuff up? <laughs> Every day. Oh, dang. He gets good views, though. How are you, Mike? I'm okay. I'm a little tired, but I'm I'm happy to be here. Where's Grant? Is this the second week in a row he hasn't come? Second week. <laughs> How come? He quit. He says he's sick again. Is he really? He's been six five times this week. I don't know. I haven't seen him in a he's been six two five weeks. Times. <laughs> <laughs> Hung over. He's probably always uh, got the Irish flu. <laughs> Is that what they call being yeah. hung over? The Irish flu. Yeah. He's got them. <laughs> North Georgia laryngitis, fucking <laughs> hung over as hell off brown liquor. You know he's drinking whiskey at night. <clears throat> that might be it. Grant. <laughs> so <bad. laughs> Yeah, Grant, if you could see this, man, stop drinking, please. We need you here. Mike had his fan going, and it was too loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn it back on. Very disruptive. Yeah, was that the noise? I think he doesn't control heard. the thermostat. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's like a swarm of bees. Yeah, it's like yeah. a swarm of bees. Bee. Will you put it back on again? It's kind of cool. Be my <laughs> <laughs> like Candyman. Yep. <laughs> oh, is that what Candyman said? Reference. Yeah, remember we watched that the old one. That original one is like a horror classic, I think. Like how it's shot and just everything. I think that's like a classic movie. Yeah, it's good. I like the new one too. The new one's good. We never seen. Yeah, we never seen the, the new one. Caprini it was good. Caprini Green. Yeah, it's good. Same but diff. Same but diff. What's Caprini Green? Where the the project yeah. or the buildings where it's all being <laughs> happening? Yeah. The only thing I can remember is references to movies and TV. And then I try to think about like what I did a couple days ago. I don't fucking know. But I know Cabrini Green from. from Yeah, that's impressive. (laughs) Uh, Damn candy man. Yeah, look at that beautiful fur coat. Love it. Excuse me, would you mind being my victim? With his hook hand? Didn't he have a hook? Yeah. Yeah, that's a scary one. And pumpkin head. I saw pumpkin head around the same time as. As Candyman for the first time. That was a scary monster on Pumpkinhead. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to make some Pumpkinhead reference. I was doing Rocket and Friends a couple months ago. I was like, yeah, that was like Pumpkinhead. And everybody's like, what the fuck are you talking about? People did it now. (laughs) You know, Pumpkinhead. Big, lanky, lankman. (laughs) That's funny. How are those shows going? You're having me on one, which is so sweet. When is that? This 
next week or this week? Um, next week. Yeah, we, yeah, we're doing that's yeah, that's the riff show. So we do fishbowl audience put topics in fishbowl. <gasps> I love it. It's fun. It is fun. It's never as fun as it sounds, but it'll be super fun. <laughs> it has to be fun. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun for sure. And yeah. the one guy you do that show with, I saw the television show that he was on. What was that called? 20-somethings Austin. Yeah, 20-somethings yeah. Austin. I saw, like, the preview for that out of nowhere the other day, and I was like, I think Casey does something with this guy. <laughs> yeah, How is he? Michael. Is he pretty nice? Yeah, he's really nice. Yeah. Cool. He was, when I moved here, he was, like, doing open mics, and he was like, yeah, I got some reality show, and uh, we were like, okay or whatever and then we didn't see him for a long time and yeah he just randomly got that and he's like super famous in austin everybody loves michael yeah cool it's funny he walks down the street and all the college girls love michael oh it's that's funny. so funny yeah pretty badass yeah he's super funny i love michael he just ran a marathon with no training last week as like an internet thing he just ran the whole yeah thing. i looked at his instagram or something and yeah. saw that what did he do it in six or seven hours or something yeah I don't, which I any don't amount know. of time is impressive for just 26 miles my god yeah without training i was telling him i was like i think that's really dangerous like i don't think you should do that like i bet you could have died or something mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure that's not yeah. great for your body and hopefully he had uh, Vaseline in between his legs. I remember I used to run, and if I didn't do that, it would get bloody down there. Ugh. Yeah, on the tip of my penis and in between my legs, it would get all rubbed raw. There he is, raw. dropping damn mescaline before the big showdown. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Mike. Mike, what's going on? Mike, please. Mike, Kate, something happened to Casey. <laughs> what happened? Mike, something happened to Casey. No? Mike, gone off the grid. Ooh, there you found it. Mike. Mike. Welcome Mike. back. Mike, what happened? Oh, just just don't touch the mic or don't look up or down or left or right. What? Mike. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Mike, it's too many instructions. Well, we're taking a risk. <laughs> Mike, you gotta dumb it down for me, but hey, Mike, where were you? Were you gone right there? Is that why it took a little time to answer? No one was in here when we came in. I was looking at TikTok. Ooh. Jealous. What were you seeing on TikTok? Wait, yeah, what was on TikTok? The eel pit? What's <laughs> going on with the eel pit? Oh my god, I have to show you. It's so good. They got some crabs. Blue crabs. Blue, Blue crabs crab. in the eel pit? But they think it's only women. Blue you crabs know. in the eel pit. Mm. Have you ever seen the eel pit, Casey? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Cow turtle. Turtle cow, something like that. Oh, turtle cow, <laughs> eel in the crab pit, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some guy bought a house and it has this pit. Inside okay, it was like and he filled it with water. It was like natural rain water or something. They used Reservoir. to have them under your houses. But he's like, <laughs> I like fish. I'm going to make it an eel pit. <laughs> well, it's good. He's a nice guy. He could have made it into a wonderful torture chamber for people. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the scariest looking thing down there. That is scary. Yeah, I got to see this eel pit. Is, it, is there any way we can take a peek at this yeah, eel Mike, pit? Yeah, Mike, can you get the eel pit going? Wait, yeah, I don't can know. you, you play? Can we play TikToks? I don't know. Let's see. There's no way to tell. Okay, see, it's riveting. It's wonderful. He put some crawdads down there. He has fish. <laughs> he has all kinds of stuff down there. Does he use it as a source of food? No, just like it's a his... giant aquarium thing. Cow turtle. Cow turtle, yes. And what were we watching last night? It's so funny. TikTok is a kid's thing because I swear to God, Casey, Erica will be on that shit and going through the live and it's... Only the craziest <laughs> looking people talking about the craziest. And it's the, half for the, kids. The I don't girl who had the a other. Cute, it's insane, though. The girl with a cute senior photo, but then she turned meth head and her teeth were gone. Yeah, there's some real pretty girl. And then it showed, it was like her voice talking and it showed her and her teeth were gone and she looked scary as shit. TikTok's scary. TikTok's dark. It's super dark, and I don't know if it's all dark or just what Erica likes, and that's what shows up on it, but it's something might be, else. Might be your algorithm. Yeah. I love my algorithm. Your algorithm's crazy, and some sweet girl. Terry Joe, live all day. Terry Joe is fun. <laughs> you know Terry Joe? Mm -mm. I don't go on TikTok. My TikTok al algorithm's all like, how many balloons can I put on this lawn chair before I'll fly? <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> cool stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Experiments. I turned my front yard into a grotto. Looks just like Playboy Mansion. Here's five simple steps. How I pulled it off. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you like DIY too? 
No, nah, I'm just messing around. Yeah. <laughs> just whatever weird stuff. Yeah, I was watching these people that would make like pools and all different <laughs> kinds of stuff with just their hands oh, yeah, I think out in the jungles. Fake. I think they That's not found fake. Out. Yeah, I think they found out those are fake. Huh? What? They were making You can the see like 20 pools. people crews behind them sometimes. They were digging with their hands and making the swimming pools. What do you mean that's fake? You can't fake something like that. Yeah, they were making swimming pools in the jungles. I, I've seen it. It wasn't a crew. It was a crew? A secret crew. It wasn't a secret crew. TikTok. What yeah, he just... <laughs> instead of pulling up the eel Get pit, them on TikTok. The Someone has TikTok. the fucking <laughs> William Montgomery show tiktok and yeah, puts our clips and it gets good views it's there. not william oh really i was like i commented the i said Montgomery who is this show <laughs> and it's not fanny no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh get that up yeah i don't know what we should say to that person right now because they probably listen is that a good logo? thing is it a bad yeah, thing i don't I know, know. Because for the longest time, Casey, people were putting up my, like, the Kill Tony things on YouTube. And for a while, I was like, oh, I'm not in charge of this. I don't want this up there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, now it's like, I think the more the merrier of yeah. just potential stuff somebody could see on, like, you You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at one point, it I was like, oh, well, I'm not in charge of this. I don't. William. But... Oh, it has, like, a fair amount of followers and stuff. The videos Does it? Views? Yeah, they do. That's. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> I don't know. It's However, boy sweet. feels about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I don't crazy. care. He Whoever's doesn't know what doing to do. Doing that. Thank you. But I who think. are you? Yeah, who are you? You got to let us know who you Daniel, are. Because if it's Daniel, well, it's not like they probably make any money off it. So. No, I think it's really hard to make money on TikTok. Yeah, you have to be like, a yeah, ads. It's totally fine. That's that's nice. Yeah, as far as YouTube, you'd have to be on there all the time, like to monitor. You know, do people put stuff up of you that you are not putting up? No, it happen I, I, there it is. I'm not famous like that, but there's the page. Go ahead and w follow and ask who is this? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It's a really good um, clips channel that William has nothing. What's like to the do newest with. one? Just like from yesterday no, or something? it's from like October. Did they make like oh, maybe they stopped exclusive clip like clips we're not clipping like random clips? I think. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, well, well they're not getting it. Fanny's not sending them just other clips, I would imagine. They would have to be doing it themselves. Yeah, the only ones someone's ever done of me is when I did Kill Tony, and then someone made one, like, craziest bucket pull ever. <laughs> really? Nice, nice. Casey Rocket. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, that's yeah. fun. Got, like, 5,000 views or something. Cool. But, yeah. Yeah, pretty badass all around. <laughs> <laughs> I did this roast battle in L.A. like a month ago, and then... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should even talk about it. They edited it. They put it out yesterday, and they edited it. Edited it. Yeah, where it looks all weird. It makes it look like I lost, but I won. And then <gasps> they cut like a bunch of laughs. It's weird. It's weird. Are oh, you laugh serious? Tracks. Yeah, like the laughter was really good on a lot of the jokes. And then I would tell the joke in the long form video. So they, they made the you thing. lose. Well, it just it's edited strangely, and I know that. But it wasn't how it was. The opposite it wasn't of a laugh like track. That. Yeah, like <laughs> whatever the, that is. I swear they like turn the volume down. Like I did a couple jokes, and it'd be like pop, like like the sound would go like totally off, and then it just makes me look like a fucking like a loser. Who put like, it on the person you beat, or um, just the people running the show? No, the company that did the roast battle. Um, Scammers. Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. But did it bother you guys? That's what it is. Yeah, kind of. Just because yeah, it would kind of bother a, me, but especially because yeah. I won. So like, people are commenting like, "Dude got totally smoked." Like, <laughs> dude was out of his uh -oh. league from the beginning. <laughs> but which is fine because the person I was roasting is great. Kiki is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But For still, sure. it's just weird. To, whatever. That's weird as shit. I know people just put their own little things out. You guys there. have fans. Oh well, that's not a fan thing. That's a weird thing. <laughs> that's a weird thing. Yeah, that is a weird thing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that sounds weird. Yeah, at the beginning, the guy who was putting the clips up, it scared me, and then I... He had a really good YouTube clips page that that Daniel guy was running. Mm -hmm. 
And William did a, some fan sent him a beekeeper outfit. So he went up with the beekeeper outfit on Kill Tony and he convinced himself it was William in a KKK outfit and deleted everything. Oh, wow. Didn't re- ever reach out to William like, hey, what's going on? But convinced himself that's what it was. Put, and then like, put some, Black Lives Matter yeah. videos. Which is great. I haven't, or, I don't. But like, one way or the talk other, to I don't William, care, like, yeah, hey, was the I was offended by thing. you. What were you doing? Where he could be like, that's not what it was. He just did it and blocked William. <laughs> yeah. That's what it made me realize. That's why I had in my head, oh, well, I but need I to But I think he made some money off so of it. So somebody rogue doesn't <laughs> go in there like what was happening with his ass. And then one time I saw him behind Vulcan. This was over a year ago. And he's just feeding the birds. <laughs> and people are like, who is that guy? And I'm like, oh, I know that guy. I think he's still here. He probably is watching this. He's probably going to watch this right now. And he was sweet, I love William. You. Yeah, it's William's fine. always We're like, friends. I wonder how Daniel is. <laughs> but there's also a side of me that every time I walk out of a building, I'm waiting for somebody there and to see some flash and somebody shoot me and it be him. Yeah. I'm totally prepared for it because he moved here. He's still in Austin. I swear to God, I'm totally prepared to get shot one day. Man. I'm not prepared. I just, it's he in the back of my Mike. head. He thought he was going to do your podcast. He might go after Mike. Yeah, well, he already know where he knows where Mike lives because <laughs> we were talking about it. Yeah, he knows where Mike lives. I live here. Yep, at the studio. The studio at where... the laser hair place <laughs> next door with your special fan. <laughs> yeah, the Aikido place is that what it's called? Oh yeah, they, William peeped in that store. Peeped in that. This mat's place. comfy to sleep on. Do you sleep uh, in there, Mike? The mats when I can get in. Yeah, his name's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school with a Matt Farmer, Matthew. Matt's for for Matthew. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) We were curious. But yeah, hopefully Daniel. Daniel, if you're watching this, I love you. I hope you're well. Maybe text me or something. Are you still in Austin? What's going on? You have to let me know, Daniel, please. You never see Daniel, do you? I don't don't even even think I know who that is. (laughs) (laughs) It was my first buddy from L.A. We get wasted. He had a great film collection. He's a big film buff, and we just yeah. watch movies and get drunk movies. as hell up in his apartment. And he's just out here feeding the birds. Just out here feeding the birds. Yeah, people are like, who is that? And I swear to God, I look out of the window, and my heart drops a little bit. I was like, <laughs> uh, it was like in a movie where it zooms in. I was like, oh, where my was God. Them? Do you know? Bread. <laughs> Pieces he... of bread. Okay. Where'd he get it? They're probably the store or the some sort of store. Probably the damn crumb market. Crumb market. <laughs> There's a crumb market close by here. Are you thinking crumble cookie? Yeah. Oh, I love crumble cookie. I yeah, was meaning to ask you guys if you'd want to stop by the crumb market after this. Oh, we would love yeah. to. I haven't been. I was going to make some Only baked ziti. Don't say ziti. We love ziti. that. Did someone say baked ziti? <laughs> <laughs> Can you put that green stuff on baked ziti? Pesto pasta? Pesto. Mike, will you put that green stuff on baked ziti? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, back up. <laughs> Ooh, yum. Yum. Shoestring pasta. Pasta. Love shoestring pasta. Love shoestring. <coughs> are you kind of sick too? How are you feeling? I'm fine. Our uh, vents in my um, uh, <laughs> duplex are full of molds. So. No. Yeah, it won't be to long. Kind of slowly dying. Won't be long now. Who discovered this? Yeah. Um, Catbird. Fuck. What yeah. do you mean? What happened? How'd she you find it out? You can see it some night. Oh, uh, we turned on the air, and there's been all kinds of apart- problems in the apartment. There's like a couple gas leaks. We had to call the fire department. So. I think these are all reasons oh, to break gosh. the lease. Yeah, but it's so nice. It's in such a nice area. It's like one minute away from here, too. Yeah, I remember so. you recently kind of moved. And honestly, dead honest with you, since we found <laughs> the fungus, I feel a lot funnier. I think it's like giving it's making me... making you silly. It's making me a silly little guy. Yeah. Can I walk for long distances? No. But when you start wheezing and stuff, it's in your lungs and everything. <laughs> Do I get lightheaded when I stand up? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> worth it. The riffs, I mean, bon appetit. Nice. So nice. So good. Um, it's the mold, probably. Probably the or mold. Or it could be the mold. The fun guy, like Last of Us. Oh. Do you watch that? Mushroom. <laughs> yeah. We've watched a little. I just love like those games. So I was behind. watching it a little. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What happened is we were on the couch and she turned the AC on and then it smelled like big trash. It smelled like dumpster bitch. And really? It <laughs> <laughs> smells like, like some sort of <coughs> shirt dick dumpster bitch. It smelled really bad. And we're like, okay, something stank, huh? Ugh. P.U. And yeah. we looked in the vents and they're like all like fucked, like full of mold. Damn. Yuck. So someone's going to come clean it. But oh, nice. Cool. 
Stanley uh, Steamer. Stanley Steamus. Stanley Steamus. <laughs> Aww. Excuse me. Stanley Steamer. Well, at least y'all found it. I know. I start wondering, do we have mold in our place? Is it like all under the so. carpets or something? Because sometimes <laughs> okay. I don't feel good. <laughs> I feel fine. It could be allergies. Yeah, I don't get sick. I have allergies. Yeah, I just smoke a lot of cigarettes, so I have like a permanent cough. Yeah, I smoked a bunch of this. I was back to smoking cigarettes this past weekend in California. I started, I got a pack of the blue American spirits. They don't have menthols in California. Really? And they also... And they also don't have the flavored uh, mm-hmm. elf bars and bullshit because Duncan was saying that he just had to have a tobacco flavored <laughs> vape. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. fun ones. When we were out there doing the roast battle, I I guess I didn't notice and I bought what I thought were Camel Crushes. And then you look at it and they're like, now with evergreen, evergreen mint flavor or something because menthol is banned. Yeah. And when you pop it and smoke it, it tastes just like laundry detergent. It tastes Ew. awful. Seriously? Yeah. It gives you a big headache. This is like some different chemical, whatever yeah. menthol is, it's not that. Why did they yeah. stop that? Because it was disproportionately giving black folks lung cancer? Or didn't it have something to do with... <laughs> wasn't it? Why Maybe. did they... Well, they did it out for a reason. Why did they? I don't know. I think... Yeah. Wasn't think it, it was kind of a racially it. thing, kind of thing? Or was know. it not? Maybe it wasn't at all. I don't know if it was. I know menthols are a lot worse for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got rid of the flavor stuff because it's too kid-friendly or something. Yeah. Yeah. The jewels. Jewel pods. The cool things, yeah. Yeah, I miss flavored cigars. So you, there was this gas station right by my mom's house when I was in my... Robitussin phase, and I would walk in there and pretend like I was looking at candy. The cigars were right next to the candy, and I would just grab a bunch of flavored cigars and just put them in my pocket. Oh my gosh, gas station thief. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, do they not have the flavored cigars in California either? I don't know. What flavors are they? Flavored cigar? That's like we used to roll up a blunt. Swisher? Right? Oh, they probably still have those, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, it was, maybe I'm thinking of, like, flavored cigarettes they banned. I remember flavored cigarettes. There was a store yeah. that would sell it to the high school kids for 50 cents a piece, a cigarette. <laughs> well, like a clove cigarette? Uh, they were, like, I remember that. cherry Just flavor, yeah. vanilla flavor, and the bottom was gold. My brother would get them. 50 cents And I was like, that would make me want to smoke. But <laughs> you I didn't. never did, did you? No, because I don't know how. Well, it's good you never learned. I coughed every time, so I couldn't figure it out. Do you regret ever smoking the first? Do you remember the first time you ever smoked? Yeah. Where were you? Yeah, I was with my friend Chris McNamara. And uh, yeah, his dad used to smoke a lot. So we started like we would at night, we would sit on the porch and we would like puff them like cigars. Uh huh. And then. How old were you? Probably 12, I think. Mm hmm. And then, yeah, we just started inhaling and it makes you, yeah, it makes you feel really sick. Yeah, it feels good. I don't know how to do it. But then eventually, I guess I just got used to it. Yeah, isn't that what happens? Yeah. (laughs) It gives you a little buzz, doesn't it? Yeah, when you were a kid, when you first start, it's like a drug. Yeah, you're like, I don't feel so fucking good. Yeah, it feels awful. Yeah, I put dip in my mouth in like middle school for the first time, and I had the craziest (laughs) head rush I've ever experienced in my life, even probably to this day. But then I ended up feeling like I was going to literally die for the next six hours because I swallowed some of it and... That dip was horrible. Luckily, I'm off of my bullshit in my mouth, dude. My teeth were about to fall out, I think. <laughs> my gums were bleeding. They still bleed a little when I brush my teeth. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, I regret smoking. So I was like a sophomore in college, and I fucking... I decided to smoke one day, and that was <laughs> it. I specifically remember where I was. I kind of regret it. I like it, though. Like, I might ask it's you like for one after It's like a social thing, because you guys yeah. are, like, smoking and talking. I know it's great for like talking and hanging out outside. You guys never talk without a cigarette, so yeah. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I'm kidding. Can't even get the words out. I know. Then you guys hit light the cigarette, and all of a sudden I'm like, "Whoa, what's going on?" Damn chitter chatter. All the things. So big. (laughs) And there was nothing better being high on cocaine and just smoking Mm. a pack of cigarettes in four hours. (laughs) That's what I used to do. I swear to God. Oh my God. Oh yeah, constantly smoking. When yeah, when I used to take Adderall, I'd smoke. Yeah, two or three packs a day. I just smoke constantly. Marlboro Smooths. Was that like a brownish color? I can picture it. Yeah, yeah. Like light blue or something. When I was in military school, there was this nerd guy who came up to me one day and he was like, hey, man, you want to take a dipshit? 
And we, (laughs) I I don't know. He said it like it was a thing everybody does. And it's where you go in the bathroom and you go in two separate stalls and then you split a can of dip. So you'd have like a ton of dip, uh, and then you just like basically just sit there till you get sick. Hey. And uh, yeah, it was pretty. What bad a out. horrible sound! Did yeah. you do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but then I like spit it out after like twenty minutes. But yeah, I wonder how dip would be now. Now that there's so much nicotine coursing through my body, I wonder if I could. I, yeah. I'm not gonna try it because it'll. I I'm not gonna try it, but I I it'd probably be fine for me now. I would think. Probably. With all the nicotine coursing through my bloodstream at all times. Nobody dips anymore. Yeah, when I was a kid in Georgia, everybody dip and chew. I used to chew. Chew tobacco. <laughs> See, that seems fun. It's fun and it tastes good, too. <laughs> Ooh, don't tell me that. I want to get a pack of what? Red Man? That's Red the Man. kind, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they made them all throw up on the Little Kid Baseball sh- baseball movie. Sandlot. Sandlot. <laughs> Hi, boys. How can I have some more if I haven't had any to begin with? <laughs> Sandlot. Yeah, that stuff seems so it tastes good. See, I'm going to go get some after this, maybe. Yeah, I used to go do farm stuff in my mom's barn and, like, help the horses and just fucking big, big league chaw and just spit on the ground. Farmer boy. Farmer boy. (laughs) Would you ever have a spitter? Would you ever spit into the little (laughs) plastic containers or... I guess spittoon. Yeah. (laughs) Um... Yeah, sure. It is just as fun to just spit a big one on the ground. Yeah, I saw somebody at Red Band Show on Thursday who was putting the exact same things in his mouth that I've been putting in, and he was spitting all of his spit into a thing, and I was like, can't you swallow it? (laughs) I don't think it's like that. Yeah, Yeah, I don't think it's like that, but maybe he's on to something. I don't know. I was just swallowing it all the time. (laughs) Yeah, why aren't people (laughs) dipping anymore? It's just horrible for your mouth or something. I guess it just rots your skin (laughs) or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, those little things are like the vaping of the dip world. The uh Ouch. the Zen things and the it's like the vaping. It's rotting your mouth. It's rotting my mouth up. Really cool. I guess. You know, it's no better. It's getting worse. All the time. Now I'm smoking again and now I'm sick and man, Casey, I was on I was pissed. <laughs> Fucking Sunday night, you would have been proud of me. I'm kidding. No, you would have said, William, relax. You would have been proud. <laughs> I'm not like yelling or anything. I was just, I have all this hatred in my heart. I don't know what it is, Casey. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm generally happy, but I have like all this hatred that builds up in my heart for some reason. Like, really, I had some real feelings I'm having. Yeah. I'm really fucking get pissed. You pop that Adderall. You didn't take an Adderall in some days. <laughs> yeah, I took an Adderall. That's you, man. Chinese baby. Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> Pissed. Pissed, baby. <laughs> yeah, on Saturday, there were people at the show. There's some couple talking on the very front row, having this full-on conversation during a lot of my stuff, and I went after the guy, and I called the guy a fat piece of shit. <laughs> I swear to God, Casey, it was one of the first times, at least recently, that I can remember where it was a palpable feeling. <laughs> Uh, oh, just the vibe it? I was getting from the audience, I swear, it got, like, intense feeling in there. <laughs> it was fun. It was a very fun feeling. The whole set went well, I think. But, man. <clears throat> oh, I was too aggressive with that guy. And I told, got people to, or asked people to go strangle him. And I was getting too violent. <laughs> I'm getting too violent, I think, with my rhetoric. I need to be careful. Yeah, somebody's going to no strangle more, me. No more killing jokes. Yeah. I'm getting too violent with my rhetoric. <laughs> Casey, it's not a good... It's a slippery slope, my man. It is. I think it is. I think it is. Do you have any violent jokes? (laughs) No, no, not really. I mean, I guess I used to do that thing about, like, beating the shit out of my stepson or whatever. (laughs) Damien? Damien. Yeah. Damien, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know Damien. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. Is he doing all right now? Yeah, he's fine. (laughs) He's getting older, and he seems to be worsening with age. Can he speak yet? Yeah, but it seems so. He only speaks in limericks that are like hurtful. That's weird as <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> like little rhymes and like stuff. Like, well, he'll get over it. It's a phase, bro. Probably. Yeah. Hopefully. He'll be like, better news, get some better shoes. <laughs> like, like limericks. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what you get the fuck out of here. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's always hilarious when you, yeah, that was the move I would see you do. Yeah, used to be violent. 
Used to be, but now you're not. Look at those bears. What is that? Just violent bears. Casey, I don't I don't know if you know this, but but good things come in pairs, okay? I don't know uh if you knew that, but every all good things come in pairs, uh, and that totally includes the Weed Whacker 2.0. Just got the new bar, uh, partner in crime, the Beard Trimmer, the Beard Hedger. <laughs> I know do you know about this, Casey? It has 20 links on it. How do you think I get all these links on my beard? He has all 20. You have all 20 links? This is all 20 links right oh, now. Oh, different spots are different Oh, it's links. going like downward. Yeah, oh, One, yeah. two, three, four, five. He six, spends seven. hours. Yeah, if you want a beard looking like this, this is all 20 links. Like this is a one up here. Then it goes down to a 20 here, but like a five here. And Well, well let me get this straight. You're not yeah, telling one, me this. one, 20, oh my God. five, six. That yeah, is a six around joking. your mouth, huh? You could probably be five around your mouth, though. Probably drop it down five or three. Two right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Silly, <laughs> but yeah, the beard trimmer's wonderful. And it, well, you're not telling me this dang thing's waterproof, is it? <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's waterproof. This is actually, I do this in the shower or the bath every day. I do it underwater in the bath every day, whether Erica says get out of there or not. The water couldn't even still be warm. I'm in the bath doing it every yeah. day, rain or shine. And that's the Weed Whacker promise. And that's why these dang, stupid-ass, b- delicious, beautiful, wonderful scissors are going to make you look like a million damn bucks. A million dollars you're going to look after you use these clippers, these scissors. And, the, I mean, the God, the Weed Whacker 2.0, what an invention. I mean, it's just a, it's a marvel of engineering. How do you think he gets his ear hairs out? Yeah, that's a Weed Whacker 2.0. <laughs> Those 2. things aren't 0. hairless. No. Ear hairs, definitely not hairless. Completely qualified to be totally trimmed out of your head. Yeah, you don't need those things. They make you look like an old guy. And you yeah. have a bunch of ear coming at, hair coming out of your ear. Don't look like that. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, you just get your face and then you can get your whole body with the other thing. You get two. But it's like Mary Kate and Ashley. They're, that's a good <laughs> he always does. He buzzes that. Yeah. You thought that was bald head? Yeah, this is bald. This is weed whacker. That's weed whackered. And that's purely intentional. Yeah, this is like a one up here, and then it goes to a three, <laughs> and then it's a five, and then a 20. Uh, <laughs> it's always a 20. You gotta close it down with the 20. Yeah, you gotta. And yeah, this isn't. My hair, I have a full head I know, of I hair. hate that people always assume you're like going bald. It's like, no, he does no, that. I use the Weed Whacker 2.0. Yeah. He does that. That's how Babe Ruth hit so many home runs. Yep. He does that. He Keep was, it trim. Yep. He was part of the original Manscaped, I think, Social crew, social something yeah. crew. The gentleman's that. club is like a cigar club. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so weird. Manscaped. He does that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, she's born with it. Maybe it's Manscaped. No, that's not good. <laughs> but yeah, you get 20% off plus free shipping with the code WMS at manscaped.com. That's where you're going to get the Weed Wagger 2.0 and the Beard Hedger. It's manscaped.com. That's where both of those are. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nikola Tesla did not die in vain. Always use the right tools for the job. Yeah, he didn't die in vain. He did not die for nothing. He died for us all. Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped.com, <laughs> code WMS. 20% off at checkout, code WMS. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch the Bear Man movie? <laughs> or what's Grizzly Man? Yeah. <laughs> Timothy Treadwell. Yeah. He should have never gone back there. Why did he go back there? Did the bear just eat him or his girlfriend too? Ate them both. That'd be a bad way to go. Mm-hmm. It would. Some yeah. giant animal eating you? Yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like I could outrun a bear, but they just won't <laughs> stop. They won't stop. Yeah, bears they... are really fat. Can't they run 30 miles an hour or something? <laughs> I think. Can't they? I think Probably. they could run a long time. 30 miles in a way. How fast is that? <laughs> That's like two minute miles, right? Yeah, can they? Maybe I made yes. that up. Maybe. I saw some video one time on the internet of some bear eating some dude's head. Stop. Whoa. Really? Yeah, it's horrible. Straight to the head? Yeah, the guy was alive for a little. Oh, God. Was he eating his scalp and stuff? Oh, that's awful. 
I know. When I lived in Wyoming, you had to carry around be- uh, bear spray. Yeah. Yeah. When I'd go hiking and stuff with my buddies, I had bear spray. When did you live in Wyoming? 2011, my buddy got a, a old frat brother. It was after I graduated from college and I was just working back at the little grocery store with zero, just <laughs> had no idea what was even happening. And then he got a job in Wyoming at a gas station. <laughs> in the Tetons, it was working for the park system. So like the park rangers were the police and uh-huh. up in the Tetons, it was beautiful. It was the first place I've ever been where there was snow on the ground in June. I drove up there a long fucking drive from Memphis. It was three full days. Damn. I know. It was pretty. And then a serial killer almost killed me in a hotel. I thought I was getting wasted with some oil workers one night. It was some lounge. You could still smoke in the hotel, in the hotel lounge. I got wasted and some guy scared me, just really scared me for some reason. And I ended up leaving early and making sure he wasn't following me. I was convinced he was going to murder me. Damn. It was creepy. Wyoming is a yeah. I've been to Wyoming quite a few times. Yeah, it's a it, the topography is a very interesting state. Rock Springs, what are Rock Springs? What part of We're, Wyoming? So I was up at the northwest corner. Is oh. the Tetons? Yeah. Where were you? Where's Rock Creek? Or where's Rock Creek? Rock Springs. Or Rock Springs. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you said Rock Creek. I know, I'm not quite sure uh, directionally where it is. I, I went there. On the way to Illinois, so probably in the middle or something. But. Oh, from Idaho? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop there for a little while. That's yeah. so scary. He almost killed you. I think, I mean, I don't know. I could be totally insane, but he was just looking at me weird. and It just seemed, and it was like this ratty hotel. It was cool you could smoke cigarettes in there. I miss being able to smoke cigarettes That's inside his, somewhere. his favorite yeah. thing. It's yeah, like in the Denver M- airport, you used to be able to smoke inside of that restaurant. <laughs> That's his favorite thing about Las Vegas. Yeah, you can still smoke inside. Yeah, I had my yeah. worst set ever in Mer- or somewhere in Wyoming. <laughs> it was close to Denver. It was like an hour or two hours north of Denver or something like that. It was horrible. What happened? Just right off the bat, nobody was laughing. <laughs> some crowded bar and some ladies screamed out, you suck, and... This was this now some years ago, people. and it was just horrible. And then I got wasted that night, and I remember being in a porta potty, listening to the Beck song over and over again, uh, where he th- says things are going to change. I can feel it, and I would always just say that to myself <laughs> when I get wasted, <laughs> just hoping things would turn around, kind of. And doing key bumps that That's night, I swear part. I still always say that in that song, "Loser." Uh, mm-hmm. he lo- he's I'm like, sure oh, this I- is a part. Yeah, I love that part. Things but are going to change. I can <laughs> feel always, it. I know, I love that. that. It's like, hold on, listen to this part. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Things are going to change. I can feel it. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it really hits him every time. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's a good song. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't help what you relate to. Yeah, there's always some... Weird lyric. Yeah, I was uh, talking heads, letting the days go by. I always think about that one. Damn, letting the da- we are letting the days go by. This yeah. is not yeah. my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, from that song. Yeah. What is that song? Is that the one you like where you're like, it's such simple talk? <laughs> no, don't worry about the government. Do you know like, that? I love how he's just like song? talking so simple and... <laughs> Yeah, l- listen to Don't Worry About the Government by the Talking Heads. That's maybe my it. favorite Talking Heads. Like, it's an obscure, it's not never on the radio or anything. Maybe he oh, has yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a popular one. It's wonderful. Listen, I love the Don't Talking listen heads. to the government. Yeah, Don't I Worry the About heads. the Government. Yeah, I, l- I have the Stop Making Sense as the CD in my car. I listen to it like every day. It's so good. Oh, really? Live album, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a wonderful... <laughs> DVD or yeah. video. I don't know why I called it yeah. a DVD. I love that. I got the poster in my kitchen. Yeah, I, I love talking. David Byrne is so cool. He's so, like, autistic and weird and funny and cool. He's wonderful. Yeah. So I would love good. to see him. Doesn't he still do solo stuff? Yeah, I think he did before. Yeah. He used to like cocaine, didn't he? Maybe. I think I've read that. He didn't like weed or anything, but he liked cocaine. <laughs> that would make sense, I guess, maybe watching some of the stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I do a good David Byrne. You want to hear it? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Does he ask people for questions at the show? <laughs> he, he says that after one of the songs. That's that stopped so making sense. funny. That's I funny. can't remember. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, I have a tape I want to play you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I remember cool. that. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Don't worry about the government. That's a wonderful one. It's about some like simple minded person living in his building. I love it. Yeah, and he's not worrying about the government. Don't worry about the government, please. Yeah, he just watches the planes fly by. He has other things to worry about other than the government. Yeah, lots of stuff. His friends. He likes his friends. Yeah, a lot of those Talking Head songs that I like, it's all just like about animals or just very (laughs) simple stuff. It's not like telling some complex story or anything. Yeah. That's not all their songs, I'm sure, but some of the ones I like, it's just these simple. Yeah. Sweet. Air. One is called Air. (laughs) I don't know what that, I guess they're talking about air the whole time. I don't know. (laughs) Air. Damn. But yeah, that night I fucking was doing, I'm sure I've said this before, I know I've said this. But I was doing the key bumps in the bathroom at the restaurant where I used to work, and my penis went back in my thing, and I my pants, and I peed everywhere on the inside, and I just stuck around. I didn't give a shit with pee all on the front of my pants. That's how bad it was, Casey. <laughs> Listening to the fucking Beck song, things are gonna change. I can feel it. Walking around with pee all on the front of my fucking pants. Yikes. Wait, Met- <laughs> like cocaine, <laughs> like major wiener shrinks. It went it's totally. Like, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe you remember that. Yeah, it always made my penis <laughs> tiny, like almost like it was being back, like sucked into my body or something. <laughs> and that kind of happens with Adderall, too. Oh, Is it just stimulants that happens? Oh, yeah. It's just the meth of it. Adderall. Yeah, I think it probably <laughs> constricts your veins. It's it's got to be something with blood flow. So yeah, just goodbye till tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> just so that's why my tiny. feet get all sweaty and cold. Yeah, because the blood doesn't need to be down at my feet. God, yeah, I would do, I would take so much Adderall like during that period where I was having to rub the icy hot. I can't believe you were doing that. That's that so funny. funny. I would type. I would take a bunch of Adderall and then I was copywriting. So I would just write for. 48 hours straight, just not moving, like Hunter S. Thompson style, like, psh, but like not writing anything fun, like writing like copy. And yeah, wait, hold on. What do you mean you were copywriting? What does that mean? What were you doing? Like, that was my job. So, like, I would have to write for like law firms and stuff. Like, uh, oh, how funny. Yeah, personal injury law in Fort Lauderdale. <coughs> Bless you. Bless. Sorry. No, that, it's fine. Didn't mean to scare you guys. It was terrifying. Did a little. <laughs> it made me think of pesto. Pesto pasta. But oh, I want pesto pasta. I can remember a couple times because I would sit there for, yeah, like 12 or 15 hours at a time before I would stand up and do anything. And I remember I Damn. got up one time and my legs were completely blue. They were like all blue. And it would happen all the oh. time. It would happen like twice a week. It'd be like, oh, I got blue leg again. And I'd just like slap them <laughs> around. There was like definitely some cardiac... Like sort of issues going on. Oh my gosh, but, that's scary. Yeah, yeah. But I was also prescribed Xanax, so if like anything bad like that's happening, you just take it, and then you're fine. Seriously? Yeah, like basically cancels out Adderall. So, but it also Life isn't hack. good for you, is it? Probably not. Cocaine and Xanax isn't. That's how my best friend in college died. Oh really? Swoo, swoo, swoo. Sa. <laughs> He just put his name and everything. Swoo S.A. Swoo. That's all I can think of is Swoo S.A. Swoo <laughs> S.A. And then I slept on the couch he died on the next night, and I didn't have any idea when I went to go to his funeral in Nashville. That's sad. I know. It was sad. Yeah, when I was back in Nashville, it made me real sad. I cried at one of the po- moments thinking about him because he would have been there. And it's so funny. He was in the fraternity, the only other person that made uh, – some guy, Mac Burgess, who ended up working, doing politics. He was in my brother's grade. Mm-hmm. Hilarious guy. He would go to the open mics with me some, like, legitimately so funny. <laughs> he ended up dying in a car crash. So it's sad that oh, the no. two people in college that had anything to do with comedy and me are both dead. That Isn't is that weird? Sad. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. It made, it made me feel sad when I was thinking about him there. But that happens. Yeah, that is very sad. Yeah, I don't think Adderall is like the best thing for your body. Mm-mm. His come down's crazy. Yeah, I have to stop. I've been taking less and less. I need to just Cocaine stop. Cocaine bear. I'm mad. And then I've also wondered if it has. And then when he's calmed down, he's like, why are you so sweet to me? Because I'm like, it's, I'm not taking it personal. You're just cuckoo. <laughs> You don't need to be telling people our business. Like Cuckoo. That. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, well, 
<laughs> we'll see. I wonder if it's messed up my brain chemical. You think just taking Adderall some, it has permanently, like... Yeah. Done something in my brain, probably. Well, I know it probably has. Ch- I think it made me really ADHD and ADD, and I don't think I had it before. <laughs> oh, you uh, think it actually caused that? It to caused happen? it. Yeah, I'm like constantly like, and I get nervous and I get like ticky and like, uh, yeah, I think it just like fried my neurons for whatever reason. So you really think that's from the? Adderall? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Do you ever think about taking it now or not ever? Not at all. What Adderall? Taking it. You wouldn't now? take it now. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think it ran its course, and I have to take yeah, so yeah. many of them. I have such sounded a, like yeah. it. Yeah, it was such a problem. One time I was at Bonnaroo, and I was on acid and Adderall, and I was uh. talking to this guy, and I told him, and he was like, dude, you shouldn't do that. That'll make you have a hole in your heart. That happened to my friend recently. He got a hole in his heart from doing that exact thing. Fuck. And I was like, on acid, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, I can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, I can't even imagine. I spent the whole day like trying to like feel for a hole. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's there. Do you feel a hole? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> might be in the left valve. I think it's in the left valve. <laughs> yeah, cocaine and acid is a horrible mixture. I <laughs> bought some from some dude in Memphis on St. Patrick's Day, probably ten years ago. <laughs> Some like sketchy dude, and I bought it. And there was another car, people bef- in front of that car, which never happened when I would buy the shit from them. Uh-huh. So that already had me scared. Like, <laughs> so I took it, and then I was looking out the windows for twenty or thirty minutes after making sure they didn't come rob me. <laughs> but the mixture of those two things was awful. It, like brought out the evilness of the cocaine, I thought, or something. It was like a horrible mixture. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it's bad vibes all around. Yeah, the last thing you need when you're on LSD is to be like super focused on something. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you should just be free range. You don't need to be like, why is this the way it is? And yeah. What can I do to change it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good you're not on it anymore. And hopefully I will. Yeah, that. What was that? Just that was something sweet. Doing. Drill team. Drill team. Drill team six. Yeah, drill team six. <laughs> is immediately what I was saying. You're really good at that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. And Mike, I have to tell you, I actually did get that COVID test, and it was actually COVID positive. No. No, I'm no. kidding. It wasn't. No. Oh, yeah. and that was kind of a test to just Uh-oh. see if Mike was even back there. But it worked. Yeah, he yeah. did. What are you doing right now, Mike? TikTok. You're still really on TikTok? It's addicting. I get it. How's the eel pit? Yeah, show us the eel pit, <laughs> you sick bastard. Please. <laughs> He's watched all the eel pit videos without us. You pulled up the William Montgomery thing. Pull up the eel pit. Yeah, Mike, come on. You At cow turtle. There was turtle. that one. What Ma- is it? At cow turtle. Yeah, it's good that it fell into the hands, Casey. The house in the room fell into the hands of somebody nice trying to do something positive versus like a psychopath. What are those? Yeah. What are they, crawfish he has? What are those? Crawfish, crawdads. And he has a couple of them, and and then you let people name them like Crunchwrap. (laughs) Yeah, one's name is Crunchwrap. Crunchwrap. One is Shaquille (laughs) O'Neal or something. (laughs) (laughs) And he remembers them. He He remembers remembers all of them. He remembers them all. Is it all next to his bed? No, it's under his thing. house. This is an it's entire all- thing. That's oh. why I say if a psychopath got it, it would be a whole torture chamber. It's an entire <laughs> giant, or not giant, it's a whole room. I mean, it's huge. I gotta see this. Where I guess they used to collect rainwater. In the houses for, for your home. Oh, uh-huh. and it's full of drink. Yeah, it's so weird. But he has the water out so he can walk on these, on these steps down there. What? Like he has to. Re- there the, there's his new. Um, oh my gosh, blue those crab. are the crabs. Those are the new. Go crab. to his pinned ones. I'm sure. Nine point the- seven million. Yeah, but people look, look at that. That's the hole shit. he goes Good in. For, yeah, that's the hole. Look at that shit, Kate. Okay. <laughs> and then he has those cinder blocks so he can walk on top. Yeah, those are his Pull new. It. <laughs> Show me one. Show me the hole. Yeah, it's like a. It's kind of creepy down there. What is this thing? Is this a new critter in there? He just goes out and finds critters, yeah. Oh. Cow turtle. <laughs> At cow turtle. You guys need to follow. That's not it. Yeah, that's not the eel pet. Ooh, what's that, a salamander? We love him. Oh, Ooh, he's really quick. <laughs> 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 I love stuff like that. 
<laughs> yeah, I like that. Especially for his age. Very <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> <laughs> he's quick. Well, none of these are them, but that's fine. Oh, he's walking into the pit. It's actually somewhere in France. <laughs> <laughs> the pit's in there it France. is. Yeah. It's in the catacombs. There it is. There yeah. it is. Look, watch. All right, let me take a peek. Stop. Look how good that is. And he made it all clear. He filtered it all Yeah, nice. that's water down there. It's so clear, oh, though. It is. That's a fish tank when he's trying to migrate them in. Temperature's looking good. Got 44 it. degrees. It's temp. freezing cold. There's the eels. No. Yeah. Good morning, little. little They're guy. supposed to be sweet. The eels are really sweet. <gasps> Whoa, they're zip zaps up and around there. Yeah. And they'll eat out of your hand eventually. Yeah, they eat out Ow. of his hand. Whoa, it bit his finger. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it. Worth it. Whoa. He feeds them out of his hand. We love this guy. If you somehow, if anybody knows this guy, tag them on their TikTok. Yeah, William tell them Montgomery to come on. Page on this page. Yeah, tag them. Have them link up somehow. <laughs> yeah, have those two just link up. <laughs> <laughs> just do ever run that thing. Have them talk to him. So just only tag that page and be like, big fan. Okay, what are those critter? Just all kinds of stuff. Turn Isn't that guy. cool? It is cool. There's little pikes. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> and then they can hide in the cinder blocks too. Yeah, they hide in there. Come on. Oh my Come god. On, guy. Good boy. Big bite. Ooh, very sweet. Yeah, we'll watch this you for get, hours. Do you see how this has nine million views? It's yeah. so good. Yeah. The water dream house. Good. Total dream house. Total. I don't get it. It was like for yeah, keeping water <laughs> in or something. Total eel hut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks badass. <laughs> Pretty cool. Keep up the good work. <laughs> do you ever Guy. watch YouTube's? Just on sometimes. You, do you watch gas station encounters? Mm-mm. Ooh, that's a pretty. It's good It's like one. a this one guy and he, his little gas station he works at. He gets people all the are, people stealing. He does a good like voiceover. Shit. Oh yeah, no. you might like it. But it's one day he catches funny. some lady. He's like, because okay, he has like his headphones on. He's like, okay, gotta pause, kill Tony. Gotta go like confront her. I was like, oh my god, he knows about you. So then he messaged him, and he was like, oh my god, big fan. Whoa! And we, we gotta go. We have to go to the gas station. I have to pretend like Where I'm stealing it? something <laughs> in Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should look it up. You might like it. It's pretty yeah, funny. <laughs> and there are people always stealing. Always at the gas station. <laughs> There's always all constant stealing in the gas station. There it is. Yeah, it's pretty funny, and he does he does his voice over the thing. He's pretty he's, he's good funny. at it. I mean, he's very funny. He can do little songs. Oh, it has a bunch of subscribers. It's so I didn't realize good. there were almost two million people on the freaking thing. Yeah, we gotta go steal from there one day. I know. Yeah, get a couple hits. Can't catch us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, First move, man. never look at them. That's how you know. You can't be just looking at the cashier the second you walk in. That's a, obvious. Yeah, it's a tell. It's like a what if you go luck? You yeah. can't luck. What you need to do is just, uh, yeah, create some sort of diversion. Yeah. Bag of chips Smoke in the ball. air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pocket. yeah. <laughs> Bag of chips. Oh, help me. <laughs> Firecrackers by the bathroom. Yeah. Firecrackers are really loud. That would cause yeah. a diversion. I think if you mi- mix, like, bleach and vinegar, it creates, like, ammonium nitrate. <laughs> so I can, like, kind of s- s- put a yep. f- thick fog of toxic chemicals in the air. That'd be perfect. Something. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube about, like, this this hiker experienced something every hiker fears. <laughs> like <laughs> a lot of like climbing disaster stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh climbing disaster? Like he'd love something like in that. The, yeah. In the past week I've been getting I watched that documentary The Alpinist about the guy who was a free solo climber, you know. So no yes. harness or anything. But he's insane. But he would do it on icy surfaces, like so like thousands of feet in the air on like ice. Could you imagine? Does he die? Could you even imagine? Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he does. He die. was obsessed with the <laughs> divers, the cave divers. Yeah, I love reading about cave divers. So. Yeah. And the one guy tried to save his friend, but his skin was like jelly, and then he ends up dying there too. Dang. Yeah, there was some guy way down deep in some cave, and he was extracting a body that had been in there for years. And when he went to put his his body in this bag. It moved immediately, and he didn't think it was going to move because his his whole body was like jelly underneath the wetsuit, uh. and then it screwed him up. And then he, you have like you go way down deep, and then you have to wait like ten feet below the surface for like three hours uh-huh. to like decompress. It sounds like a lonely ass thing, people. I sounds can't like imagine an awful people hobby to time. have. Yeah, because you end up being underwater for ten hours or something. <laughs> Could you even? I can't even imagine no. that. 
And then you're claustrophobic. Like, I can't. It's all dark in there. So you got to look around, look for the scorpion. And it's like extra tanks, yeah. more than just the like scuba diving tank. Yeah, a bunch of tanks. But yeah, the climbing stuff, I love. He I loves, love that. Yeah. When I lived in Wyoming, a couple of people, some kid. I don't know why I keep saying kid. Some guy uh, who worked for the Grand Teton, whatever. He got horrible. I don't know if he died or just got brain damaged, brain dead or something, but mm-hmm. people die up on those, the Grand Tetons every year. Yeah. People are dying. People are dying. Gabby Petito. Gabby, Gabby Petito. Petito. Yeah, she was free soloing. She made it all the way almost to the top. <laughs> <laughs> that, everyone top. forgets that's the Tetons. Someone, I know. Someone spooked her. Said, Gabby, good job. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, and accidentally let go. Of Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's oh, up here? Oh, rats. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, rats. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> yeah, that's what she did. <laughs> yeah, there were a couple times up there it was scary as shit because I didn't have any of the crampons or whatever, the metal uh-huh. things on your feet. So I would just go up there with some big stick and, like, do it into the thing. But there were a couple times I was like, what am I doing right now? I'm not some mountain climb. Like, what am I doing right now? <laughs> It ended up fine, but You're it's here. scary because, yeah, if you slip or something, that's it. Yeah. You would just end up hitting your head real hard ultimately on something. Yeah. Go to heaven forever. Uh, yeah. You'd go to you'd go to heaven. Somebody out there doing that kind of stuff. You go to heaven. You have the best of intentions. Yeah. You're going to heaven if you die on a mountain. Yeah. God Phil Furio. <laughs> rest in peace, Phil Furio is some guy I worked with who I just I heard later on died at doing that shit. Climbing the mountain. Yeah. Mm. Climbing the mountain. Be really careful. Mike, have you climbed some? No, I don't. I don't climb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Casey. What? We were watching last night. Erica put on the Wendy Williams stuff. <laughs> you know Wendy Williams? She's a goner. About how she fainted? Or oh, what? he well, loves that faint. clip. Yeah, oh, my a... gosh. I would have been scared <laughs> and he loves to death. The, what was that? It's a spooky mask. <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> it's so it's funny. It's his favorite I've seen in years. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, he was into watching Wendy Williams show clips. It's like some <laughs> Halloween episode or something, and, like, the camera guy puts his camera on somebody wearing a zombie mask. <laughs> she goes, what was that? And she, like, sees it from down here, wherever the teleprompter or whatever it is and she's like yeah what was that <laughs> she doesn't like it, it shows like it again scared. like legitimately scared what was that i'm thinking what does she think there's a monster <laughs> in the studio what does she mean she think there's a monster <laughs> and it's scary and sad now man you should don't look up the video i don't know it's like scary and sad she's like lost her mind totally really like from these videos from a couple of days ago. <laughs> is she still on the air or no? No, oh, she's no there's no way. Okay. Yeah, she's a goner. It's so sad. I didn't even know anything was wrong. I kind of just remember hearing in passing growing up the Wendy Williams show. I never thought anything of it. But yeah, she is not doing good, and her legs are all tiny. And what? that's the, she can't that's remember. the classic clip. Is she sick? She's sick. Something's something. Wrong with her. I, something's I don't know if it's like wrong. dementia. Yeah, her. She's, but she like remembers things, but she's not all there or something. Something's horribly off. If I was there, I would have thought she was having a stroke and dying. I was watching somebody die. That's what. That's what I would have thought. That's so, the fucking Statue of Liberty. <laughs> sometimes I feel... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the scariest, crazy... Sometimes I feel a little dizzy. Do you ever, Casey, go stage? Because you move around a lot. Do you ever feel... They all felt weird in Denver, <sighs> like everyone on their second show. Yeah, I when I went to Denver, I was out there They were doing, all feeling weird. Yeah, yeah. Doing gigs a couple years ago, and I felt like I was going to fucking faint. Yeah. That's a scary feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because everyone's going to watch you if you... Yeah. You do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a scary feeling. Yeah, I had to, like, I got off stage and I had to, like, go down the block and I was like, <sighs> like, yeah, it's like a really, because the altitude. Yeah. Yep. It's crazy. Who is that one comedian who died on stage? You've seen that. You've probably seen that classic guy? video, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. And everybody keeps laughing, <laughs> thinking it's a joke. Yeah, but I was thinking maybe that's a good way to go out if that's you're what they like say, a comedian right? or something. Die, I would, I would die wouldn't. doing what you love. Yeah, I don't. I don't cool. think I would. But that's scary. Just up on stage. Yeah, every now and again, I'll feel weird in my head for a second or something. I'm like, fuck, I'm dying up here. I bet that's weird. <laughs> I swear to God, I think that every now and again, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll fall down in a second. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really dying right now. Yeah, it's very strange. I use. Yeah, I've had times where I've pushed myself. 
too hard. Yeah, physically, or I'll do something where I'll lay on the stool or like <laughs> plank or something after I moved a lot, and then I'll get up and I'll be like lightheaded uh-huh. or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> too fast. Oh, yeah. But then you just make it a bit and you sit down or something. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Joke and, for yeah. sure, for sure. And there's Spooky your stuff. grave, Kevin. Mm, there's where I'll be buried. There's William right next to me. I like the rock yeah. one. <laughs> Isn't that funny how people buy their graves beforehand? Like I went, <laughs> when I went to go watch, look at the Chris Farley grave with the sweet guy up in Madison. Mm-hmm. Some of the graves I was looking at didn't only had the born date, not the death date yet. And I wonder, do they go look at like where they're gonna be for? Yeah, not, it doesn't matter. I don't know. It people do be, though. Pre buy plots. Old people do that. Yeah. 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 It'd Let's be just weird. buy a bunch so other people can't have them. That would be, it'd be weird if you sort of scam yeah. with the like ticket master scam <laughs> yeah, with plots. Damn. It'd be weird if you saw the born date and it was like 2005 and you're like, damn, this like 16 year old kid's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why'd he buy his grave so young? <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that's it, Casey. Casey. A pleasure as always. I'm glad we made it through this. Yeah, I was a little nervous before just because I really didn't feel horrible. I felt horrible. Well, now you can go rest. Now we can rest. Now? Right there. We can rest. In the grass. Now we can rest in the grass. Eternal. With God. With God. The best sleep. Mm-hmm. Best. All righty. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny co-production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.